All right, we're dividing this complex number here. And when we're dividing this, essentially what we want to worry about is we can't have this high on the denominator. So we're going to uh, multiply this one. We've got a, a nice uh, tool that we can use to do that. We multiply it by its complex conjugate, and that sounds really fancy. However, it's not that bad. What we're basically doing is we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by almost this exact same thing that's on the bottom. The only difference is, let's see, multiply top and bottom, is that we're going to rewrite it to, and instead of minus, we're just going to change this sign right here. Instead of 2 minus 6i, we're going to go 2 plus 6i. If it were 2 plus 6i to begin with, then we change it to 2 minus 6i. Whatever the case is, we just change that middle sign. It's really it. But we have to multiply top and bottom by that so we don't change its value at all. Okay, so now what we want to do is we can multiply this top portion here. So I've got negative 4 minus i times 2 plus 6i. Okay, well, I'm going to multiply that one out. Let's see, negative 4 times 2 uh, would give me a negative 8. My next portion is negative 4 times 6i would give me a negative 24i. Okay, now I take my negative i times 2. It's going to give me negative 2i. And finally, on this one, I'm going to go negative i times 6i. It's going to give me negative 6i squared. Okay? All right, well, and you'll notice um, that one was just basically foiling. It's two binomials uh, being multiplied, so that's just foil. So I look at this one here, and I say, okay, this is great, but I know that i squared is equal to negative 1. So I'm going to rewrite this one. So I've got negative 8 minus 24i, minus 2i, minus 6 times negative 1. Okay, Instead of i squared, I just replace it with negative 1. I'm going to rewrite this now, negative i, minus 24i, minus 2i, plus 6. Okay, now I look at this and I go, okay, that's great. I can combine this one with that one, I have my two i's together. And then I can also combine my negative 8 and my 6 together. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I, so I choose, let's see, negative 8 plus 6 is going to give me a negative 2. And then I've got negative uh, 24i minus 2i would be minus 26i. Okay, so that is my numerator. That goes. That is what is found on top. Okay, now we're going to go over here and we're going to worry about what's on the bottom here. Okay, all of that was to do whatever was found on top is it. Okay, so now we look at the bottom portion here, and we go, okay, so I've got 2 minus 6i times 2 plus 6i, so let's do that. Same process here, 2 minus 6i times 2 plus 6i. All right, so I take this 2 times 2 is going to give me 4. 2 times 6i is going to give me positive 12i. Negative 6 times 2 is going to give me negative 12i. And negative 6 times, excuse me, negative 6i times 6i is going to give me negative 36i. i squared, excuse me. Okay, well we know on this one that the i squared, that works the same as we did over here, this i squared is negative 1. So I'm going to rewrite that. 4 plus 12i minus 12i, minus 36, times negative 1. We know that negative 36 and negative 1 is a positive 36. So I rewrite that, 4 plus 12i, minus 12i, plus 36. Okay, now I go through here, I see that my 12i's I can combine, and then I can also combine my 4 and my 36. Okay, so 4 plus 36 gives me 40, my 12i and negative 12i cancel each other, so now I've got 40. Okay, so that's what's found on the denominator. That we just worked on the denominator. Now I've got my numerator up here, so let's rewrite this just so we kind of get a feel for where we're at. And let's do this one in white, just so we can kind of uh, make sense of it all. So I've got negative 2 minus 26i all over 40. 
Okay, now we look at this one and we say, okay, we're almost done with it. We've done all the hard work. I look at this one and I go, okay, what can I factor out of this? Is there some way that I can reduce this? And indeed, I have two goes into all three of these, so I can factor out a two out of the entire, um, entire portion. So let's do that now. So this is the same thing uh, as going two times negative one minus 13i. That's what my top portion is there. And on my bottom, that's the same thing as you can go 2 times 20. You can keep it 40. And I go, OK, that's great. I can reduce this. My 2 is gone. That 40 turns into a 20. So then that gives me my answer. My answer on this one should be negative 1 minus 13i all over 20. OK, so you've done it all. Um, the big thing here is to make sure that you can reduce this final portion down uh, if it has a common factor in all of those.